Alexa, show camera one. Okay. So it's running there. As long as you have everything running there, it's going to connect and show your camera. Okay. Alexa, show camera one on TV two. Okay. It's basically a question of going step by step and I made this video for you. So if I can make it work, you can also make it work. Hello, welcome to my channel. Claudemir here again today with the high key vision camera is streaming directly to a Echo Show or to a Fire Stick TV. As you can see, I have my camera working via web browser and I'm gonna show you how to stream to this device. This is the Echo Show and to my TV, okay? I'm gonna have a live demonstration here. Everything's working and then I can teach you how to make this work with your camera. It works also with different brands, not just high key vision. You can also make it work with with your NVR, DVR, you just need to follow the instruction that I have here for any other device. And I'm gonna show here on my screen the step-by-step. -step. There's an article that you can follow and understand how it works and make your setup here for your camera. So let me just come here to this article that I have. I will have the link here in the description. So basically it's how to view a high vision camera on Echo Show, step-by-step. Here's an example working on the device. Here's an example with the setup. This doesn't work anymore for new devices, okay? Well, if you have new devices, you can just come down and use the sec second option here with the gateway service, okay? So here is how it works. You have your IP camera, your computer, the Monaco website, it's a free service. You have your Alexa, so you need to use Alexa skill and your device, Echo Show, Fire TV Stick, whatever. The idea is that the camera is going to communicate with a Monaco gateway on your computer. So you must have a computer for that. And then this computer communicates with the website on Monaco, which communicates with Alexa skill and with your Echo Show, okay? It's a step-by-step -step process that you have to do. Okay, so just pay attention to every detail and you can make it work with your camera. So I'm going to use the RTSP protocol. So your camera needs to have the RTSP protocol. You need to download and install a gateway here. Okay, it's a software. You need to create an account on Monaco. You need to have your Alexa linked to Monaco. Just install your skill and link. After you create an account, you just link and then you have your device and it's going to work. So here is the setup. Go to the Monaco website and create your account. So it's pretty simple. Just use your first name, last name, email, password. You're going to receive an email with the information to just click and confirm your registration. Then you go to your camera to set up the video stream and also username and password and do not use H.265 codec, okay? It doesn't work, it works with H.264. So be careful with that part. You create the user on the camera, give the user uh, remote view privileges. Just make sure the IP of the camera, make sure the port that's using 554 get their TSP command from your camera or TSP URL. Go to Monaco, add this RTSP there. Then you also give the camera a name, description, manufacturer, manufacturer, whatever. Choose the resolution, video codec. And here you're gonna have your camera ready to go, okay? Then you go to Alexa, skill and games, Monaco, Choose the, the skill here, enable, and link your account with from Alexa to the Monaco, okay? Monaco website. Pretty easy, and then you can have it working. But first, you also need to work on this Monaco gateway. You're gonna install a gateway here on your computer. And on the configuration on the website, you need to extra this extra tag here for tunnel, okay? Download the Monaco gateway for Windows, for example, if you have Windows, put all the files into a, a folder, download a token as well from the website, put everybody in the same folder, and then you can execute 
the software. Here you go, Monaco is going to run on your computer. And when you give the Alex a command, it's going to run the software automatically and show here on your device, okay? It looks pretty long, but you can follow the step-by-step -step here and works, okay? So let's do this right now. Starting here first with create an account. Okay, pretty simple. You visit the Monaco website and here you can create an account. So click register, give the user uh, your name, your email, whatever information that you need there and create your account. Pretty basic step. Then you go to your camera. Here we go, I have my high vision camera. Go to configuration. Remember that you have to create a user. So in this case, you can use admin or you can create a new one. On my case, I'm creating a new one, Cloudemir with my password. So just click here, add and choose here, username and a password. In here, you need to enable at least remote view. Okay, so I have my user created already with the password. And also here on video audio, I have my video stream. So mainstream and substream, depending on the stream that I want to get from the camera, you're gonna use substream if you don't have a lot of bandwidth. You have a bandwidth limitation, you're gonna use substream. Otherwise you can use mainstream. So that's all you have to do for your camera. And your network, of course, check the IP address of the camera and here the port 554. Make sure you have everything working like this one. And of course, you have your video working for your camera. If you're not using high vision camera, you just need to get the same information. It works as well the same way, okay? So I have my camera working pretty fine here. That's the idea. Now, what I'm going to do is just to test. I'm just come back here to show you our DRTSP protocol, okay? For my, my camera, if it's working. So I can come here and use this on VIF device manager software. I have another video explaining how to use it. Basically it's going to connect to my Hackvision camera and then I can get their TSP stream. If you have a different camera, you can do the same. You see I have Amcrest, Axis, Reolink cameras here. They work as well, as long as you have their TSP stream. So here we go. When I connect here to live video, it shows me the RTSP stream for this camera. That's the one I need to use on Monaco. Okay, let me just copy here. And before I use there, I need to test it. So to test it, I come here and I use the software, VLC Media Player, just a free software, you can download to your computer. Come here to open network stream and I paste it here. Okay, hit play. And here we go, ask me for the username and password that I created on the camera, the high vision camera. I type here my username and password, click OK, and it's working. Now I'm sure their TSP URL is working and that's what I need, okay? So I need this RTSP URL working so I can come here to Monaco and paste it there. So it's working. Let me just come here to Monaco. Okay, if you don't know where, how to get there, you just need to follow the instructions here, step by step, how you can get there. Okay, on Monaco website and do everything that you need. You have links here for everything. You have here all the information that you use for their TSP stream. In this case, I'm showing an example with a high vision camera, but I also can get here using this software. Okay, that's what I did. So let me just come here to Monaco and add a new camera feed. As you can see, I have two of them here, but just let's show you how it works. So let's give it a name. High vision, description, my camera. Here's just information, guys. You can input the model here if you want to. Let me just put any information here to move faster with this video. In here, you can just copy and, and paste the RTSP URL that we just tested, okay? So that's it. And authentication, I choose digest. Input here my username, 
just as I did before for testing locally. Here, my password is just for test. Not my regular password, right? I'm just used for testing. Here, video resolution. Let me come down and choose, let's say, 1920 by 1080. A264 video codec. In here, I need to include this tag at tunnel. Okay, pretty simple as you can see. Here, general information. I can input whatever I want here. Just make sure you copy and paste the correct RTSP URL here. Username and password and choose digest. And here you include the tag at tunnel because we're going to use the monocle tunnel. Save. As you can see, I have the camera here with all the information. So it's ready to go. Let me just delete this one because I'm just giving an example. As you can see, it's exactly the same camera. So I won't take the risk of like having double information here. Let me just delete this one. That was just for you to learn how it works. Oh, pretty simple. Okay, I have here already uh, working. I don't have a button here to test if it's working. Okay, so I need to download the software and make it run and everything else, but I don't have a button here to test. Okay, back here to the article, you can check that you can download um, the, on the Monaco website, you can download the Monaco gateway service. So you click here and directly directly to the web page. And here you download 64 bit for window. That's my case. If yours is different, you just download yours. Here's the Monaco gateway. I just extracted this file to a folder. And here you go. I have the Monaco gateway and I have to do something else. I have to uh, download the token, okay? And put the token here and let, leave the token on a web fold, on a folder here with the rest of the files. So with this token, I just need to come back here to Monaco and I come to my account and here I can create a new token. As you can see, I have one for Hacky Vision. It's pretty simple, just click here and give the camera a name. Let's say hike camera, add a token and download this file. That's it, pretty simple, okay? Let's see, it creates a new one and I just need it here, show it on folder and I will just copy and paste here on the folder that I just extracted the files, okay? So inside of the folder again, I have the Monaco gateway and the Monaco token. Everything working here. And the last step that I usually do is just select everything here and copy and come here to C drive and create a Monaco folder. And I paste everything here. As you can see, I already have it here. So it's on C, Monaco. Pretty simple. Okay, so I can uh, easily get in here later and execute a command that I need. Okay, so right now you have your Monaco gateway working here. Not working, but ready to work. Okay. Back here, what I have to do now is, is just run this command. So you use Windows R to bring the CMD prompt and you run this command, Monaco Gateway dash uh, dot exe. You're gonna have Monaco running like this. As you can see, when the, you ask Alexa to show the video, the software start running and you get the video on your screen. So it's pretty simple. Let me show how to do this. Uh, as you can see, I have the, the Monaco Gateway running here. Okay, let me just stop it. Here, Control C on my keyboard to stop it. Here we go. Okay, I just need to use this prompt to start the service. So let me just close here and come from the beginning so you can understand better. So what I'm gonna to do here is just 
get into the web folder. So here, let me just hit Windows key and R on my keyboard. There we go. CMD, just hit OK. And I'm going to dev folder CD slash and then CD Monaco. I basically coming to into the the folder. Okay, so I'm there on the folder that I have the Monaco Gator running. There we go. I have the instruction here. Then you need to run the command Monaco. When I start typing, if you just hit the tab key, it's going to give the option that you have Monaco token. That's not the one. So just Monaco dash. Then I hit tab, it completes the command for me. Okay, Monaco dash gateway dot X exe. That's it. I just run it and the service is running and wait for connection. Okay, so here you go. Monaco running, waiting for the connection. And then when I come here and ask, for example, Alexa, show camera one. As you can see, it runs the software there on the screen and here it start bringing the software, uh, the camera, sorry. Okay, it takes a while, but it works. There you go, working. Okay, pretty easy, pretty simple. Okay, let me do this with another one here. Just unmute here. Alexa, show camera one on TV two. Again, Alexa. So here, here you go, here you go. Just took a while, okay. Today's Saturday, like Alexa is like a little bit slow. Okay, so the image is here working, as you can see, it's a process that works. Okay, so basically the device get the video stream because the camera is communicating to the Monaco website and then this, uh, the software runs, communicating with my computer and everything works, everything runs and connect to my devices here. Okay, so as you can see, it's working. So let's just a quick recap here so you can understand what's going on and make sure you can make it work, work for you. So IP camera, I have the IP address of the camera. I have the port number for their TSP protocol. I'm using their TSP protocol in this case. I just download and install the Mon Monaco gateway here and I place everything on the folder C uh, Monaco and also download a token. I create a token there on our website I download here on this folder, okay? But to be able to download and to do everything before I go to the Monaco website, I create an account there and I install Alexa skill here on my cell phone. Let me just show you here. So here you go, I have the Alexa skill. Basically what I have to do is just come here to skill and games and look for Monaco. Okay, when I type here Monaco, I look for this, just install the SKU and link to your account. Okay, so you have an account here. I linked to my Alexa SKU and then I have my Echo Show working. So every time you ask Echo Show to show the video or uh, the Fire TV stick, all this runs. Okay, so basically Alexa communicates in Monaco, which communicates with your computer, with the gateway and communicates with the camera and shows the live video here. Okay, so pretty simple, all right? So it works pretty good. Alexa, home. You just hit control C here and stop everything. And again, start the gateway so you can see how it works. Again, Monaco running, wait for the connection. And see, it stops working here because I stopped the service there. So here again, it's com coming back. Alexa, show camera one. Okay. So it's running there. 
as long as you have everything running there, it's going to connect and show your camera, okay? And here you go, working. So guys, that's how you can make it work for you. Alexa, show camera one on TV two. It's basically a question of going step by step and configuring everything here. I, I know there's a lot, but you have every detail here. And I made this article and I made this video for you. So if I can make it work, you can also make it work. If I have all the details here, I did that myself without like uh, anybody helping me. So right now I'm helping you to make that work for you using not only high vision camera, but any other IP camera, any VR or DVR. Okay. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.